Indeed, the gospel has been preached faithfully by my brothers and sisters in Christ, and we praise God for that. We give him all the glory and honor and thanks and praise because only him deserves to be glorified and adored. We serve a living God who is alive. Our God is a living God, is a mighty God. The only Almighty, there is only one Almighty, and that's God Himself. Jesus said, I have come to call not the those who think they are righteous, but sinners unto repentance. Jesus came to call sinners unto repentance and not those who think they are righteous. Any person walking down these streets, any single person hearing my voice today, none of us is righteous, including myself. Because the Bible says, the Word of God says, for all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All men means every single human being. It doesn't just say men necessarily, it means men and women. As young as seven, as young as five, if you have the understanding of what is right and wrong and you have failed to do what is right you have sinned you have lied to your parents you have picked up a sweet that doesn't belong to you or you have picked up money from somebody's wallet or you have used god's name in vain because you had daddy and mommy using god's name in vain all these kind of things they're sins and one lie my friend just one lie is enough to send you to hell now i prepared a few bible verses for you today but before I read the Bible verses, I'm going to read from Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 13, starting from verse 1. And this is what the Word of God says. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to certain strangers. Do not be forgetful to entertain strangers. Do not be forgetful to entertain strangers. How many people normally do... Blessed. How many people entertain strangers have you believed in jesus young folks you see if you haven't please believe in jesus as soon as possible because you could die anytime the bible tells me be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unaware instead of standing up for god instead, instead of standing up for jesus you bend your knees to the world. And because you bend your knees to the world, you, you miss a blessing because you can't entertain that little one who wants to give a talk to you. You don't think they have nothing to say to you. You don't want to hear from them. I'm telling you, God is using even young people today in his service. Very young people. If you're, if you're a young person, you can hear me. Ask your parents about Jesus. If you know how to go on the internet, go on the internet and search out who Jesus is. And many people think I'm preaching religion. No, we don't preach religion. We preach Jesus, the one who was slain for my sins and for your sins. You could have everything of this world. You could have all the money, all the cars, and all the success you want, all the degrees of education. But without Jesus, it's all worthless. It's all worthless. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them. And then we suffer adversity as being yourself also in the body. You see the homeless people on the streets? Love them. Help them if you can. Provide accommodation to them. Now there is a lady here who wanted to sing Amazing Grace. And then I'll tell you something very important about his Amazing Grace. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. She's going to sing this Amazing Grace. You're serious, yeah? yeah. You have the lyrics? I'll get them for you. I'll get them for you. Amazing Grace. Oh, my back. Grace. Lyrics. There you go. Sorry, I stand by you. I give you some more. Wow, I'm not Mm. <laughs> Wait, look, I need to practice. <laughs> Be serious. Be okay. serious. You want to go? Don't worry about the people. Just okay. worry about the It's okay. You got this. You got this. No, you got this. No, do it with me. Wait. Because you can sing good. Three, two, one. Uh, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost. I'm found, was blind, 
like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, come, oh, come. Praise be to God. Now, let me tell you how blind I was. And let me remind you of the grace of Jesus. I thank God for those who are willing to stand and sing that song. If you know the history behind it, you will know that the man who wrote the very song was a slave owner. And he traded, he traded black people for money. Not only black people, but also other people. It was called slavery back in the days. But he was saved. He was saved by the redeeming blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary for the forgiveness of my sins and yours. And when he became a Christian, that was the first song that he wrote. And he's still famous up until this day. That is amazing grace. From somebody who used to treat human beings as animals, to somebody who loved Jesus Christ, and he can speak of his amazing grace. I will go back now to my reading. The Bible tells me, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but homongous and adulterous God will judge. The marriage is honorable. Now, we are living in a generation whereby they are trying to say to you, a woman can marry another woman, and a man can marry another man. The Bible doesn't teach that. If your church is going that route, warn your church and leave. If your church is not willing to stand up for the Bible and what the Bible teaches, you warn them and leave. Because if they stand for wickedness, God cannot bless wickedness. Because it's already an abomination before the sight of God. Before his sight, it is an abomination. That is homosexuality or lesbianism. Now the worst thing is transgender. When they are trying to tell our little boys they could be girls from a very small age. I went to get a book yesterday.